I was actually a little disruptive in class. My chemistry teacher at the time uh, wanted to get my focus back and so he sat me down and he said, I want you to tell me why liquid oxygen is blue. So that was my real first, I guess, uh, grasp into to this is something I'm very excited about doing. I love the problems in chemistry. They are something that I can relate to easier. It has so many branches into other areas of science, so it allows me to be part physicist, part biologist, part mathematician. Uh, it, it's just really a nice branching science to be able to do that with. So a particular project that the work has been done on my beamline is, is looking at ischemia in, in brains, or in other words, stroke. Stroke affects a vast majority of the Canadian population, the world population for that matter. And so we're using the Canadian light source, in particular the minute red beamline, to look at different ways in which we could identify stroke happening and maybe even try to prevent that. How we do that is we use the imaging capabilities of the mid-infrared beamline to image brain that has had both a stroke occur in it and not occur in it. And those subtle differences that we're able to see then allows us to look for links in, in terms of coming up with new, new drugs or, or new ways to, to try to limit the effects. In order for us to push those boundaries, we really have to be innovative. This is where the CLS excels. 